everyone, welcome back to Tangas Club in a new episode and in this one we are going to watch again a Stenka Master Badge, this time with Pancake, the Russian Premium Tier 8 Light Tank, the Light 432 or LT 432 and I became this uh, battle replay insane, really so satisfying to watch this battle replay again from the Flash as soon as yeah, a skilled player from our clan, he is so on fire the last days, he is sending me one ace tanker after the other and especially with medium and light tanks, we can see that Flash enjoy playing especially with light tanks. So now let's jump to the battlefield and just enjoy watching and especially to learn how to play with a light tank and especially with the Pancake LT432. I mean, this light tank is really so hard to master and to adapt to the playstyle of this tank because, yes, it's a light tank, but it's not the fastest light tank and it doesn't have the fastest reload time for, for a light tank. We don't have also such a high DPM like, for example, with the RU, um, the, the German light tank. And for that, to reach and to, to make a lot of damage, we're going to see it. This is just insane and uh, Flash is really a skilled medium and light take. But here we go, let's watch and enjoy. And as you saw, um, short bounce and uh, this is thanks to the form of the pancake. I mean the pancake is so flat that somehow even we don't have any armor on this tank, somehow thanks to this uh, tank profile, the flat design and profile of this tank, a lot of shots are going to bounce while playing with this tank. Now, here we go, always sneaking. This tank is also great for, for hull down positions like this, thanks to this uh, flat form. And now he's going to manage to do some damage on the E75 from the right side, always, but always keeping his eyes on the left side because he knows that the tank destroyers right there are also sniping some shots and he didn't forget them and he's going now to make one shot from the left side and then one shot on the right side and um, this is really uh, not easy to manage on a battle when you have that pressure the enemy tanks are aiming on you from both sides and you keep calm like this and you manage to deal uh, and make damage on both sides um, I mean I know it in the battlefield, this is, this is not easy at all to stay cool like this, to stay calm like this. And now uh, he decided to rush on the TDs. He knows that they are one shot, so he's going to finish the SU. Keeping his eye on the Yacht Panther, pushing on him because he knows that he now he's trying to turn to him and finish him as well. And then keep moving on. This is really so satisfying to watch how he is doing it. He has always new ideas, um, really very creative playing from Flash and um, he knows really what is he doing. Look at this sh sneaky shot on the Chimera. Insane, just insane gameplay mate. Respect for that, chapeau, we say in German, hood up. So actually, if you see this um, in the battle, and that, that's why we shouldn't never rely on our team. Actually, 4v2, we should win this battle so easy, but somehow... Um, all, of the enemy, uh, all, all of the teammates are going to die, and in the end, we're going to see it right now. It's going, we're going, we are going to have a 1v1. Flash is going to survive, but actually... Who was thinking that uh, out of from this situation we will have 1v1? I mean, 4v2, um, Flash Seep is actually outnumbering the enemy tanks, and even with that, we cannot never rely on the teammates and we should focus and uh, rely only on yourself in shots, such battles. Try to stay alive till the end, very important, so you can be the decisive one in the end to win the battle. 
instead of losing it. Very important. Here we go again, a sneaky shot. So on from 4v2 to 2v1. The Ferdinand is just yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Waiting there, camping there, instead of uh, trying to create some pressure on the WT on the Waffenträger. And uh, because of that, also a wise decision, um, Flash decided to go back and he got again a new idea. This is really so uh, satisfying to watch how he's doing it, how he's playing, and uh, how he, he always has new ideas in the battlefield to try to win the battle. He's a winner, he wanna win his battles, and now the move that he did, uh, the Waffenträger thinks that he's still there on the last position when we saw him and with that uh, Flash now he is going to make an advantage on the Waffenträger and to surprise him from the back so that was really very decisive and very effective to change his position so he can now surprise the Waffenträger and this is really very clever clever gameplay and not everyone can do this I really appreciate it mate how are you um, dealing with your light tanks how are you driving your light and medium tanks this is really I would say pro gameplay. Here we go, rolling back. Trying to disappear again uh, of the sight from Buffett Hager, then surprise him again. Yep, the teammate saying time, time. We don't have enough time. And we are going to see what is going to happen right now in the end of this battle. What is he going to do now? To sneak the last shot. Oh man, crazy. 4k damage with a light tank with the LT432. And I'm sure that if uh, Flash got more time, he will be able to destroy the Waffenträger and win the battle. But really a huge effort, insane effort. And uh, he just uh, rewarded himself with 170k credits and an ace tanker mastery badge with the pancake this is really insane gameplay thanks again for uh, this battle replay and guys if you have also any ace tanker mastery badges or some nice gameplays don't hesitate to send me your battle replays to the discord server personal message to me and i'm going to react on it look at this rewards knockdown Epic enemy spotted, legendary damage dealt, ace tanker, high caliber for destroying I think 3 tanks, also epic damage blocked, so really really well played from Flash. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, maybe share this video so we can keep growing. See you soon, bye bye.